Hey guys, Gary Dean, Tampa, Florida, DetailJuice.com. This is a, another untold truth in detailing. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm giggling because I think about this a lot. Uh, I get a lot of people asking me. You know, I've had a couple of a couple of people pretty recently ask me this question, and it's. It makes a lot of sense that they would be concerned about this because, I mean, you want the best of the best. But I want to shed a little bit of light. Just, to, just a. I want this. This won't be a long video, but people ask me all the time. You know, people that I mentor and you know, are trying to coach and try to help build their business. You know, a lot, a lot of those people are using my products and really getting great results with them, but. They're, they're doing average Joe cars and they're, they get a little bit, I wouldn't even say it's discouraged when they see other people who are maybe a little bit more um, experienced than them or maybe work for shops that are established and that kind of thing and they get to do these fancy cars. They, so the question is, when do I get to do cool, fancy cars? Um, the answer to that is, you gotta pay your dues first. You have got to build a reputation. I mean, do you think that someone who buys a 300 plus thousand dollar Ferrari is just gonna hand it over to some punk kid who starts detailing uh, because he has 50 bucks and walks into a Walmart and walks out with a bunch of consumer grade products? Uh, no, with, with no reputation, no, no referral from, uh, another friend or any of that. No, those, those people are not dumb. You got that Ferrari for a reason. Um, it, it's going to take experience. It's going to take time. You have to pay your dues before you can work on cool stuff. Uh, the cool cars, you know, I, I was, man, it was, it took four years for me to ever work on a Ferrari. Um, you know, I never really aspired to be like this, and and even even though I do a lot of paint correction, and that's really like if I had to put a pinpoint what I specialize in, it'd be paint correction. Um, in the beginning, I, you know, I pulled around a trailer. I was a mobile guy. You know, I'm, I'm 15 years later, I'm back to being mobile. Um, you know, got rid of the shop, moved into a big warehouse, big facility where we manufacture my products. And, uh, you know, we're, we're doing all the work there now. I'm not, I, I don't have a shop. Um, I've got a couple other businesses that I, you know, deal with that are, uh, detailing related. So I have more going on than what you guys might know, a lot more going on than you guys know. And, um, you know, my detailing service is a mobile service and my product line obviously is, you know, that, but, you know, I have a facility dedicated to that. Um, but you have to pay your dues before you get cool stuff. I mean, it was four years in before I ever, ever detailed a Ferrari. And that was just because I had already done some work for the guy's friend and he raved about it. And, you know, it, it takes, you know, you got to work on the, uh, the, the Ford Focuses and the, the Chevy Sonics and, uh, you know, the, all the lower end stuff before you can get to the high stuff. You got to build, you know what I mean? Like you don't want to maximize everything. You need to build your experience level. Now here's the bottom line. A car is a car is a car. Now the liability goes up when you get to work on those fancier cars, but it's still the same thing. You're still applying the same techniques and processes to the fancier cars. They just have, they just look cooler, have, you know, more contours and, you know, they're a little bit trickier to do the polishing and that kind of thing, but you, you got to crawl before you walk. You got to walk before you run. I mean, that's just how it goes. There's a, a process that, that, you know, I'll call you right back. There's a process that you have to go through to get there. Um, you cannot expect for that kind of thing to happen overnight. A lot of it also, you know, getting those clients has to do with your personality. Are you reaching out to those people? Are you talking to those people? I can tell you, don't bother with those kinds of people until you have the experience 
under your belt to really take care of them properly because it's all about the customer experience it's not about what you want it's what the customer wants it's going to make you successful so uh, think a lot about that pay your dues do those lowering cars get that experience um, get those referrals um, you know post some write-ups online you know shoot some YouTube videos if you want uh, do that kind of thing share your work on the internet you know try to you know, boost your posts on Facebook, try to gather and capture that audience, go to car shows, talk to people, pass out cards, pass out flyers. Um, you know, don't discount your work, charge what you're worth, but keep that in mind. Uh, you have to pay your dues before you can get to those super fancy nice cars. Uh, and that's, that's my biggest, uh, pet peeve about that particular situation is when do I get to do those fancy cars well when you're worthy you're not worthy right now and that's the bottom line if you were worthy they'd be calling you um, you know I've been fortunate and uh, been very successful in detailing and you know uh, you know I do a great job and I have the experience to take care of anything that they would need me to take care of period if it can't be fit if it can be fixed I can fix it I mean that that's the bottom line and that's the mentality you need to have to accomplish bigger, better jobs, but at the same time, you need to build that reputation before those types of situations are gonna call upon you to do them. So hang tight is all I'm saying. You'll get there, but it takes time. You have to build this thing. You just don't go from zero to 100 like that. It takes a little bit of time. You have to give it time, hone your skills, get better at it. Um, 813-846-4406, that's my cell phone number. I can't help you if you don't reach out. And, you know, I can help to get you there for sure. Uh, I can help you, you know, with my product line and that kind of thing. And, you know, I, I can really help you to get where you want to go. You just have to be patient and we will get there. Or you can get there by yourself. May take a little longer. Who knows? Maybe you're awesome and can just jump jump right in there and your first car is a, a Lamborghini Aventador. Who knows? Um, highly doubtful. Highly, highly doubtful. So give it some time. If you need me, I'm here. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, like this video if you like it. If you don't, pfft, whatever.